Hello and welcome gorgeous Aries to your weekly reading. I hope everyone's doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you of course and Spirit does want to bring through those direct messages. So pay particular attention to anything that truly resonates with your heart. Okay, let's take a look at your first few cards here. Okay, so a beautiful card to begin your reading. Aries, there is a new opening, a new beginning. When one door closes, another door is going to open. And that's what Spirit wants you to know, that there is a door that's closing behind you. Something has come to an end. There has been a completion and you are confident and you will be confident soon that another door will open. Spirit is saying another door is going to open for you. That is the best opportunity for you. It will be for your betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunity and learning they present to me. Serenity comes from within. So with this little bit down the bottom here about serenity and and having that in your heart and in your life, I'm, I'm seeing that there has been something distressing, disturbing, something that has put you off balance a little bit, Aries, or maybe a lot. And this is coming to a close. This situation that has caused this distress or inconvenience or frustration, that is coming to a close. And you will find that over the next week, over the next few weeks, that will be completely removed that will be resolved that would be that's going to be completely closed and a new door a new opportunity greater possibilities a betterment of your situation is coming through and you have the beautiful card of divine light you are an expression of divine love and holding and holding that in your vibration and knowing that in your in your consciousness is going to be extremely powerful for the week ahead. Shine like the sun, Aries. Shine like the sun. Hold that in your mind. Say that affirmation this week. Shine like the sun. My inner light is my strength and my treasure. And that is true. And I'm also seeing that someone is going to have... Uh, you're going to share, you're going to share your light with someone who needs it. My intuition guides me to discover the wonder and goodness of who I am. So through this tumultuous time, through this difficulty that spirit is mentioning with this first card, you are discovering your learning about yourself through this process. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. Live for love. Opening your heart. Today, I put love into everything I do. Even the small things, Aries. Put, put your heart into the small things that you do. And you'll find the resonance there. You'll find more of an opening of your heart if you do this and closer connection to others if you do this. Closer connection to spirit if you do this. It is love that gives life to all things. And I open my heart to this great power. I act gently and speak with kindness. I fill each thought with love and light. I love God and all beings everywhere. I live for love. I love myself. Beautiful. Adore to the infinite. So we have the symbol of the door coming in twice here for you, Aries. So a door is definitely closing. And a new door you get to open. At my heart center, there is a door that leads to the infinite. Today, I visit my heart center and open that door. As I enter, I experience a deep sense of serenity. And I understand that I am eternal, that I am indestructible. 
So you are stronger than you think you are in this instance. From here, I can see beyond my life's challenges to the higher levels of my existence. So it's seeing the higher perspective of things, Aries. I know now that my inner light is infinite and no one can no one can squash that. No set of circumstances can truly squash that or dim that light because it is infinite and it is connected to source, to God energy, ultimately. So you have some amazing cards this week. A lot of light around you, a lot of angelic protection and guidance. And you will be a guiding light for another. You will be sharing your light with another this week that needs it another person who needs this light for the healing for their upliftment hearing guidance okay so Aries you're going to you're going to hear guidance and it's going to come in a way that may be unusual to you it may come in a conversation it may come in a sign from spirit uh, where you are listening to lyrics in a song and it has meaning for you. In some way, you're going to hear a sign, hear guidance. So what you hear is really important this week. I'm also going to say that this can resonate in terms of what you're hearing through meditation, what your inner voice is telling you. You are an earth warrior. So yes, Aries, you've been through some tough times recently. You do have that warrior energy about you at the moment. But you are in an energy of victory. You are in going to overcome this challenge, whatever you're fighting against or whatever has been difficult in your life recently. What your challenges are on earth right now, you're going to overcome them. A treasure of the soul. There is going to be a reveal, a reveal um, that you will know about. You're going to maybe receive a sign or hear guidance. And you're going to follow this truth. Soothing mind and spirit. So I love this blue color. There's an energy of being calm. There's an energy around you of being centered, of being calm and being soothed mentally and emotionally. Hmm. And the blue also signifies the communication element. So there does seem to be important communication um, for you this week and an important about something very important. You have the beautiful angel of peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Centering yourself, feeling that energy of peace. This is also a welcome sign if you have been in um, emotional distress or if you have been in a tumultuous situation recently. Know that peace is coming. Peace is on the way. There's a resolution. There's a mending of a bridge. There is a mending of your heart. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge. What does your heart tell you about this truth, about what to do next? And act upon it without delay. All is well. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. There will be a sudden turn of good luck for you, Aries. See this beautiful golden angel here pouring out blessings here. So all is well, all will be well, and there will be a sudden turn of good luck. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. So this is actively surrendering your worries, your concerns to spirit, to God, to the angels. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit.
the chariot. Things are moving forward. You might also be traveling this week. There's a lot of there's a lot of people around you or a few people around you here that I'm seeing. Um, they are they are speaking a different language to you in a sense. So they are not you're not speaking the same. Um, have the same ideas. Uh, there is a disconnect that I'm seeing with these people around you. But your heart is in the right place. I also see, yes, there's some kind of movement here or travel. This is Cancer's card. You may have a Cancer in your life. And we have the Four of Pentacles. And this is about being um, resting and also being very cautious with finances or material things, being aware of your energy and where it's going. Making sure that you're putting your energy and your time into something that is worth it. The King of Swords. So this is um, a professional you're seeking advice from. And this is a masculine energy or male um, that is going to be helping you um, strategize with uh, something you have going on right now. And the Two of Cups. Definitely combined energy um, with this professional or with this person who's going to help you. And this is a wonderful connection of love. So it definitely resonates in terms of a soulmate connection or your significant other. And the page of swords. Yes, you're going to hear some word. You're going to hear good, uh, good news. You're going to hear a good... Um, going to hear that message from spirit or some kind of guidance through communication. And the hermit energy is about withdrawal. It's about removing yourself from a situation that uh, you've been in recently. That's been a little bit messy by the looks of it or a little bit dangerous in some way. Um, something that hasn't been quite harmonious for you. But you're withdrawing, you're removing yourself and you're overcoming your you're seeing the um, you're seeing the the new horizon that's uh, that's starting to appear, and the hermit is Virgo's card. So you may have a Virgo in your life. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. So check in with your heart and see if this resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.